Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, myself and Sophie, we're heading up the mountain in the side-by-side. -side. We're gonna check out and see where the snow line is. My game camera's out for the fall. I like to do it early. I like to have the cameras out so the animals get used to them being there and stuff like that. So there's a few areas I wanna check out up here. And yeah, we'll see, we'll see what's going on. I did have a question from somebody they asked me it was about <clears throat> a little while back they asked me to where i'm open myself all the time what safety things do i bring with me well i am out a lot by myself and in this trip i'll show you what i bring because i know we're going to still hit snow and i'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty deep um if i get stuck in that i mean i do have the wind from the front um but it's also good to have other things. So I'll quickly show you what I have here. So obviously on this one, I just put it on. That's actually a brand new winch. Um, I had some problems with it last year, you can see. So, and then, right so. So there's a few things that I like to bring with me. Um, one is a, A shovel uh, no matter what that's one of the most important things to have with you is a shovel um, I, uh, I always carry a chainsaw with me and in my box I have so this is a portable winch and it runs off a drill so if you get in and get stuck somewhere um, Sure, you can winch yourself forward. I don't have a winch on the back of this. So I carry this this way because it's always easier to winch yourself out of what you went into. A lot of the times, not necessarily all the time, but, and so, yeah. So that's why I bring that. It's just, I find it a little bit easier. Uh, also in here, I have a rope, a strap, and obviously, the drill that hooks on, I'll show you here. So this is the winch. So this fits, fits on here and it turns the winch. So it's a very, very handy unit. It's light, there's nothing to it. Um, have a drill, a couple of batteries. Uh, I'll show you I think I have a video of me winching up monster logs on my trailer with this. It's very impressive what this can uh, uh, haul up. So, yeah. Okay, well, we're going to press on.
was a heck of a lot, uh, a little crazier than I anticipated. I didn't think it was gonna slide off the way it did, but anyway, it worked out. And I'll show you what we were in here. Okay, so let's have a look. I haven't done anything with the rope. I wanna show you around the tree. Uh, this is why it pays off to carry a rope or a strap. There's no damage to the tree, right? So let's have a look. Yeah, see, no damage to the bark. And then here's the main one. Nothing, zero damage. And another reason I carry the uh, marine rope, it has some pretty good stretch to it. So it certainly helped a lot. Yeah, I didn't anticipate that. That was, uh, that was a little scary. And uh, as you can see, Sophie's sitting down there. Come on, Soph, come here. Good job, huh? Good girl, eh? Such a good girl, eh? Yeah, good job. Okay, I'm pretty sure the snow is pretty deep from here on up. Okay, so, uh, I do see a bit of a bare spot. Um, I'm going to try to get to there and probably turn around. Okay, so we made it up, uh, I don't know, a couple hundred more feet. Uh, I'm not going any further. This this is it. This It's full on snow from here. There's no point in beating my machine up anymore so by the time next week rolls around or this weekend we're supposed to actually hit like 25 degrees here so it's not going to take long for this snow to go okay so it's six days later there's just too much snow up high so we're going to drop down to a lower elevation uh, we're actually going to go into the area where we were about a month and a half ago in a previous video. I had never been in there and really, really good signs. So we're going to set up three cameras in there today. And yeah, so that's what we're going to do. It is raining and we're going to get around that lake because the last time we were here, it was frozen and it certainly is not now. And the water water is pretty high. So we're going to try to get across the the far end of it and hopefully we make it and we'll get in and start setting up some cameras we'll see you in there okay we made it in it's raining a bit when we when we were in here last time you know we just walked across the lake and and this time well we had to find a way around it and i've never been in here before except for when we cross the Setting lake. up cameras, there's a few things that I look for, and I think I found a pretty good spot is, I never face my camera into the east or the west, if possible. So up there where Sophie is, is where the camera's gonna go. And the grade here comes down like this. So the camera's gonna be about here, and there's not much veg vegetation in this area. So it's not gonna be setting, you know, if it gets windy, it's not gonna be setting the camera off like crazy and we're getting a bunch of pictures of, you know, grass or limbs blowing in the air. It'll be actually of animals. So I'll set the camera up and uh, we'll go have a look and see where uh, where this camera is going to sit. Okay, so this is the tree that we're going to set it up on and I'll turn it around and I'll show you. So <clears throat> that stump, all, the trail runs across here. So there's a good view. There's nothing in the way. Uh, this little tree here, we're going to take out and it'll be a wide open view. So <clears throat> now I have to keep in mind when I'm setting this camera that there's quite a bit of a drop here. So, you know, normally you'd put the camera about this high, but that's not gonna work in this case. We're gonna have to put it about here to compensate. You know, we don't wanna be taking pictures above or below. So I'll get this set up and So what I'm doing now is I'm at the elevation of where I want to be shooting and it's about my height to vote here I want the camera pointing so I'm looking it's almost perfect it'll definitely hit 
anything that comes across this trail. So pretty happy with it and it blends in pretty good. So we'll put everything back in the knapsacks and we're gonna keep heading east and we're gonna try to find some more trails. I wanna find a really good trail uh, with a couple intersections in it. So that's the plan. We're gonna, I'm gonna... Okay, so I've been walking a little bit and I came to an, the area where I came up the hill from the lake uh, a month and a half ago. I knew it would be a pretty good area. And sure enough, um, I just came across a trail. Like a very, it's, you can, I'll show you. Um, you can see, you can see it's being used right up there. So that trail goes right up there. And also right over here, we have some fresh, fresh droppings. Um, but the size of those droppings, I'd say that's a fawn or uh, a very, a last year's deer. It's not a very big one, but where there's one, there's more. So, so let's take, take a walk up there and see what we can find. Sure enough, we never even walked a minute and look at this trail. It is phenomenal. And it goes down there and there's the trail. So there's the trail we just walked up. Okay, so this is definitely where we're gonna put a camera. We just need to walk around and check out the best place. Okay, well that took all of uh, 20 seconds to find a spot. So I'm gonna show you. I'm not sure if you can see it, but down there is my drone bag. So that's where we walked up the main trail. So we walked up through here and the other trail right is right here. So we have an excellent intersection here and this trail actually goes up that way and this one goes this way. So the odds of catching something here are pretty good. Um, I like this tree right here. So that's the tree the camera's going on. Okay, so I found another spot for this camera. It is over here in this green area that I was just talking about about 20 minutes ago. The other camera that we just finished setting up is, yeah, right over there. And so this is the green area. So I just walked over, there's a trail that comes up this way, there's another one this way, and there's another one this way. So this is a really good spot and there are deer droppings and bear droppings everywhere in here. So we'll get this set up. We're gonna get out of here because it's starting to rain pretty heavy. Some of the things that I carry with me in my bag and on me when I'm out in the bush doing anything, whether it's cameras, hiking, hunting, uh, I generally have a, a multi-tool with me. It's got a knife, some pliers. This one has some scissors in it, which I think for me, I really like the scissors. I don't know, just for cutting anything. So, to me, a multi-tool is very important. You can do a lot of things with it. Then, in here, I carry a lighter. It's always working. And a fire starter. To me, <clears throat> that's really important. I can get a fire going 
just about anywhere. But you know, if something happens and you really need to get a fire going fast, something like this, you know, it's just a really good thing to have with you. And I guarantee you there's probably three or four of these in my bag. Sure, I can go out and collect all kinds of things and, and get a fire going, but this is going to guarantee me fast, fast fire. So for me, that's very important. Um, so another thing, I always throw a piece of uh, just it's just like um, hmm, like a little foam, yeah, which I should be kneeling on right now. But if you want to sit down, it's wet, keeps you dry, things like that. Uh, what else? A little towel or rag. You know, you dry yourself off if you're wet and kind of comes in handy. It's and they're fairly light. Some GoPro stuff. Now, <clears throat> I always carry a my Garmin. You know, it's an SOS. I can send text messages through my phone on this, and I can track myself on this. And I keep a package running all year. I can turn it on and off when I want. Because 99% of the places that I go, I do not have cell phone service. So this is crucial. Like when I'm sledding, side by siding, any going fishing, camping, this is always with me. Um, very important. Uh, what else? Uh, another big, another knife. Some gloves. And like I said, look at that. There's another uh, couple more fire starters couple of snacks um, these have a little bit of sugar just to give you energy to get out of here or you know if you get lost or something and in here another another lighter um, <clears throat> so here's another couple of important things I carry rabbit wire um, if you're lost or you got oh this is a pretty easy way to get a meal for me so you know if you get lost and you're in a decent place where you can either get a partridge or a gross or a rabbit this can help you out a ton in many different things so not, not just catching animals or something but it's there's a lot of uses for this and it's light that takes up no room and a good old compass I use my phone tons for GPSing tracking but <clears throat> if the battery goes dead well you're pretty much out of luck so a compass is very important for me and another rag and also some i have two of these in here just some tape if you get lost or something you can tape it off or mark stuff another crucial item for me uh, what else <clears throat> i think i should have a okay in here I have a few different cables, another lighter for fire, uh, some cables, and a power pack. I can charge my phone, I think, five times with this one, or GoPro batteries or whatever, but this is more an emergency for my phone. This way I can keep following my tracks if I get into an area where, you know, I get backwards or mis mix mixed up or something, I can always charge my phone and keep looking at my tracks and getting out and then of course when all else fails you pull out your trusty compass and start heading the right direction well, that's pretty much it that's what I carry um, <clears throat> for me the most important part is fire you know if it's you get lost there's nothing more comforting than a fire you know you can you can sit down get warm at night it gets dark it, it calms you down stuff like that so for me the most important thing is having fire okay well we'll come back in a couple of weeks we'll check these cameras and hopefully we'll see see some nice animals on it so if you have different techniques or different ideas on how to set up cameras um, you know please please put them in the comments if you like um, it's always good to know you, you, you never for me anyway, I'm always willing to learn different ways, maybe better ways. Uh, you know, if you have a different different idea or different technique, you know, share them. And uh, ask me questions. I'm more than happy to share with you. So, 
and I just came across this trail and uh, look how well packed this is. That's a major game trail. Pretty impressive actually. So, so yeah. And uh, you know, please like, subscribe. It would, uh, it would mean a lot. Hopefully you enjoyed the videos and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.